Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm making a peach and nectarine tart and I'm using frozen peach and nectarine slices which I have thawed and I'm draining at the moment or they're being allowed to drain at the moment but you could use fresh, you could even use uh, canned or tinned peach slices but again you must drain the juice off before you use them in the pie. And uh, this recipe is going to take a bit of time because we have to chill the pastry for quite a long time uh, and then we have to bake it for a reasonable length of time as well. But it's not too difficult and you can do this all by hand. So I'm going to make my pastry dough in my stand mixer but you could do it by rubbing the butter into the flour in the more uh, usual manner or cutting it in with a knife or a pastry cutter or whatever. So we'll go on to the ingredients and for the pastry I have 375 grams of um, plain flour and that works out at sort of um, two and a half cups based on uh, 150 grams per cup. And then uh, also to go into the pastry I have one tablespoon 12 grams of caster sugar you could use granulated a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of lemon juice 45 milliliters which is three tablespoons of a flavorless oil I have 227 grams which is two sticks eight ounces of uh, butter and that's been cubed and it's been sitting out of the fridge for probably about 10 minutes so it's still firm but it is beginning to go it's not ice cold as you usually do when you're making this pastry and I have 60 milliliters of cold water but not again not ice cold water and then for the filling, I have 750 grams of um, peach and nectarine slices. And that works out at about six cups. I have 100 grams of uh, soft brown sugar. Um, you could use caster sugar or granulated sugar, and that's half a cup. I have, I'm going to use um, three tablespoons of double cream or heavy cream, 45 milliliters. And I have two tablespoons of rolled oats, which I'm going to put on the pastry once I've rolled it out and put it into the dish. That will help to absorb any moisture that comes out of the peaches as they uh, cook in the oven. So I set the filling to one side and we'll get on and make the pastry. And the first thing I'm going to do is to put my dry ingredients into my stand mixer and then I'm going to just mix those around to get them combined a little bit that's good enough and then I'm going to put the oil in and this is going to um, sort of coat the flour um, and that will actually stop the butter from um, getting right into the flour when we mix the butter in but this will still end up as sort of a powdery mixture So with that mixed in, I'm going to add my butter and I'm going to mix it on a slow speed until it's all mixed in um, and I have a sort of breadcrumb like texture but still with some little chunks of butter visible as well. So 
So that's actually quite good. Um, there's still some chunks of butter. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in my water and my lemon juice. And the lemon juice is not for flavour of the pastry. It's actually to um, help the protein structure so that when we roll the pastry out later, um, it's not, it doesn't spring back. So I'll mix this until it uh, clumps together into a dough. And that's actually quite good. So that's mixed quite nicely into a dough. So the next thing to do is to tip that out and we'll shape that into the dough and then divide it in two. I want to chill it in two separate pieces. So there we have the dough. And you can still see pieces of butter. And as we roll that out, that later on that butter will get mixed in a little bit more so I'm going to divide this into two like that now I'm going to take each piece and put it into cling film plastic wrap that is and form it into a sort of disc. And then I'm going to chill each, chill that for at least two hours. And I have one piece larger than the other, and that's fine because um, we don't need as much pastry for the top. So I'm going to put that in the fridge and chill it, and then uh, I'll tidy up and we'll go on and we'll uh, make, we'll assemble the filling because that has to cool down before it can go into the pastry. So I'm going to put the sugar into a pan, and I'm going to add into that three tablespoons of the cream I'm just going to mix that around and then I'm going to turn the heat on and when that starts to bubble I'm going to add the peaches and the nectarines and I'm going to cook that until um, the liquid has sort of started to caramelise and has almost all evaporated.
So that's just beginning to bubble at the edges. So I'm going to tip my peaches and my nectarines in. I'll give it a quick stir and then I'm going to stir it occasionally um, as it cooks and the, the liquid boils down and evaporates. And I think that would take a good few minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. So these have almost cooked down with the liquid. It's caramelized quite nicely and some of the peaches are caramelized on the sides as well as you can see. And so it, it rather depends on how much juice is uh, released from the peaches and the nectarines as they cook down, um, how long it's going to take. And of course, the, uh, how high you have your heat. So I'm actually going to transfer those now into a bowl and allow them to cool completely while our pastry chills. Then I'll be back and we'll roll out the pastry and make the pie. And at that time, I will have my oven preheating to 200 Celsius. That's 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit. The pie dough has now chilled for over two hours and I have my oven preheating to 200 Celsius, 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit. And um, I've floured my work surface and put one piece of uh, dough on the work surface and floured that as well. And I'm going to roll that out so that it's large enough, uh, uh, sorry, in diameter um, to line this nine inch, 23 centimeter um, pie dish. And it's a glass pie dish. I've put flour in the bottom of the pie dish. Um, that's so that it's easier to take a slice out after it's baked. So we'll roll this out. So I think that's going to be large enough. I'm going to roll that up onto my rolling pin. I'm going to try to drop that into the pie dish. And then push it down around the sides. And then I'm going to sprinkle over the base those oats, the two tablespoons of oats, like that. And I'm going to put my peaches in and spread those over as well. like that and then I'm just going to set that to the side for the time being while we roll out the remaining pastry and this one I'm going to cut into strips to form a sort of lattice you can do it you can um, do a, a complete pie topping if you want to as long as you have a um, an air hole in the, the, the top so that steam from the peaches cooking uh, more or so that steam from the peaches can actually escape. So with that rolled out into a sort of a rectangle I'm actually going to 
cut some strips. And you don't have to be too precise. So what I'm going to do, having cut my strips, is I'm going to form a lattice. So I'm going to start off in the center like that. And then I'm going to put other strips going diagonally across, like that. And so that's reasonably good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just trim off a bit of the excess around the, the dip. And I'm going to fold the edge just over on itself a little bit. So press down and I'm just going to fold it down a little bit like that. And I have here an egg with a little bit of milk mixed into it and I'm just going to brush that onto the lattice work and around the edge. And then I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes at that 200 stroke 400. And after 10 minutes, I'm going to turn the temperature down to 190 Celsius, 170 Celsius with a fan, 375 Fahrenheit, and I'm going to bake it for a further 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, I'm going to take it out and let it cool down completely. And then I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the peach and nectar and pie for 10 minutes and then a further 40 minutes at the reduced temperature. I took it out and I've allowed it to cool down completely and I've cut a slice and so this is what the the pie looks like with the slice taken out. The pastry is nicely cooked um, and it's cooked on the bottom as well. I can't turn it over because it would fall out but um, it is very very well cooked on the bottom so I'll have a taste of it. It's very, very tasty indeed. The, the pastry is flaky and then the, you've got the sweetness and the softness of the, the fruit uh, with that little bit of caramelization uh, of the uh, sugar and cream as well. Very tasty. This would be ideal on a summer's afternoon served with some uh, whipped cream or something. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to the recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.